Welcome back to my channel. For those of you who may be new here, I'm Alana and this is my channel, Alana by the Shore. I'm going to be doing a pretty big, bigger than I thought it was going to be, um, mainly Amazon shopping haul. I am an Amazon Prime member and there were things that we needed, things that I wanted to get, and a couple things that were, maybe a couple things that were inspired by other YouTubers that I follow. But before we get into that, I have this small fragrance sample that I got today from Influencer that I'm going to try and share with you. It was something that I picked up the other day, and it's from Carolina Herrera. It's the Mad World fragrance, and I think the, for, the main reason why I picked this one, one, because I like bergamot. It says the notes are osmanthus, bergamot, lapsang, sushong. I don't know if I'm pronouncing those right. And I don't know what the other two are, but I know bergamot I like. And I like Mad World because it reminds me of the Gary Jewell song and then the cover from R.E.M. And I honestly have no idea what this smells like. And I really don't want to spray it on me in case I don't like it. But they literally gave me this little sample size, which isn't even full. It's a quarter empty, or three quarters of the way full, depending on how you want to look at it. I want to spray the box. I mean, it smells. I actually don't mind the smell so far. On first glance, I don't. Remember if it's a if it's a female fragrance or a male fragrance. I think it's supposed to be for females, but I don't remember because it kind of smells. It could it smells like it can go either way. Although I can definitely smell the bergamot. I don't know what the other two things are, but that might be what I'm smelling. It kind of smells cheap, it's hard to say, but I'm the kind of person where like, I don't like the pink shoe one, I like the regular good girl, and then I like the purpley one, which I might get a sample of. I'm going to share it, we'll see, because I know this is the Sephora store by me that's at the Kohl's, the little pop-up store we have around here, because that. I don't love it, but I don't hate it yet. I don't know, I'm not sure. I'm going to ask Daniel what he thinks of this one. <laughs> and then, so I'm going to leave this here for now. Then I'm going to start with the little packages and work my way up. So this is what my first little package. I have two little ones, a huge one, and then a regular size big one from Amazon. All right, so these are my two of my kitchen mats that I ordered. I, might, I don't know how many of both of these are not today. Kitchen mats. I need my scissors to take this off. Now that I organized my little drawer here, I got my scissors. So I got two of two identical masks that are these. I thought it was gonna have coffee beans, or these are the other ones, right? I got two like this and two with coffee beans on them. These say, oh, I get it. It's from a different brand than the first one. I, the first one I used, which I used a few times. It's a different one. The first ones are from New Mungo, this one I don't remember. They smell a little weird, but I think it'll air out. It says coffee bar, brewed coffee, fresh daily. I think they just like literally printed it on here. It's like a giant mouse pad, but it's for your coffee bar and they're identical. So that's what this is. I'm only gonna open one for now because I only need one right now anyway. That's what this is. Then, we got this other box here. The biggest one is really heavy, by the way. And then this, oh, these I picked out last night and I was like on the fence. No, this is something that I bought by accident. So I bought two by accident. I think I only meant to buy one, but it's a mini portable karaoke machine. I only wanted one. I thought, because one was for our wedding and one wasn't for our wedding, and it's not to play karaoke necessarily. 
It's because I realized the microphones I offered Daniel and I were only going to work on a cell phone. I wanted people to be able to hear us at our wedding because even though we're not having a huge wedding, if we get married outside, I want to be heard. And I don't know what the weather's going to be like, and we are getting married by the water, by the river, so down by the river. So I may or may not return the second one, we'll see. But they're a little, it's supposed to be for kids, but it's for anybody really. This, the, they're like, I got two of the same. It's from a brand called, I don't know what the brand's called. Wireless mic and speaker, mini portable karaoke machine. They're like champagne gold off white, which I thought would look really good for like our color, for our wedding. Pretty sure they're USB chargeable. And they're pretty, they're like 4.6 or 7 review. So I'm like, that's pretty good for us. Cause I'm like, I want to be heard. You know, and that way Daniel has his own, I have my own, and we don't necessarily have to use it the whole time, but it's good to have when we do speak. And it comes with the USB, one USB charger. Oh, cause you charge both of them separately. One, now I'm gonna add more USB chargers <laughs> to add my collections. One for this one, one for that one. Plus you get the box which is really cute. It matches. It's like this. Oh, and you charge this too. It has like a little fall, fall, fall leather strap. It's brown. It says karaoke, but I'm almost positive you'd use this for like a regular one. Like a regular, just use it for yeah, this does fit, kind of. For, um, we're gonna, I'm gonna charge this and test it later. You know, for what we need it for, and this is just little and cute. I thought this would be good to have. But you know when you're at a wedding, especially because I was thinking, I'm like, my one of my aunts is practically dead. And, um, God willing, she could come to our wedding. I want her to be able to hear. You know, when you get older, you're like hearing goes. So, you know, I want to make sure that she's able to hear us. And that was one of the main reasons why I got it. And then also because it made sense. So that's what this is. I'll link all of these in the description box so you know what they are and where to find them. Um, so that's what this is. Then, something here. So let me do this one first. This one I was excited to try. It's a pink frother, even though I have like several of them already. I'm not pink frothers, but frothers that I don't use. But this one was very highly rated, but it also is supposed to come with a stand. And it's from a brand called Zule Kitchen. It's pink and it comes with a stand. Established in 2015, it's an electric milk froth, milk froth, electric milk frother, and I thought maybe if I had this and it's pretty and it comes with a stand, I'll want to use it more often. Um, and it says it's perfect for lattes, cappuccinos, hot chocolate, keto coffee, whatever keto coffee is, easy cleaning, battery installation. You use two AA batteries, which I have. I may have to start getting more, and batteries are not included double batteries because I'm running low on them. Let's have warranty and satisfaction guarantee. Email them, call them. This is the frother. It's so pretty and there's a button on top for the on and off. It looks pretty like easy to use. And then where's the stand? I purpose supposed to come with the stand. I bought. So it doesn't come with the stand. Do you have to buy the stand separately? I don't know. I'm a little annoyed about that. Made in China. Ow. Oh. Oh, I know what this is. I got this because of my feather collection, which I read we're not really supposed to have, but I do. But it's from Unharmed Bird, so. 
they gave me oh they gave me gloves I got a four pack instead of the six pack it was cheaper and I didn't eat all four of them even I don't think they gave me gloves and instructions you have to put them together there's an instructional video on amazon.com so they're all separate pieces they came with a set of four and gloves to put it together they're lucite clear plastic storage boxes for shoes purses whatever that's what it is it's Robin Mara flat and I got the 10 by 12 for this book I'm about to show you because hopefully it's going to fit this one 10 by 12 yeah. It like literally fit the back, but it wouldn't, you wouldn't be able to close it, and that's what the issue is. And like the whole point of getting this was so I could put it away. And I'm like, it's a collect, it's very, it's a collector's item from the Terminator 2 I mean, It's a screenplay book. And I'm like, I might as well display it, like everything else we do in this world. So it's like this, and then I gotta pop these out. And it's right there in front of me, so. It's cold. G L A M R O U S N A. Because last time I forgot it. Daniel's like, it's going to be a little big, but they come with pins. I don't think I'm going to be needing to use this thing. But I'll hold it here for now. I'm really disappointed that the flopper did not come. It did not come with um, the stand, and that was the main reason why I bought it. So it's my mom's terminate, it saves my mom's anniversary of her passing from four years ago today. But this is an original screenplay book from, the, for the movie Terminator 2. From what year was this? What? I mean, I want to say in the 90s, it's the OG. And there's pictures in it, it's from 1991. An applause original, Terminator 2 Judgment Day. I'm so excited. I like this. Let's see how much it cuts out. Back when Arnold was cool. I might do it without the back or oh. it might look stupid though if I put this behind it. Na -na -na. Heavy. Made in China. Okay, my fingerprints are over it. 
All right, before we get into that, I'm going to show you the other, well, I'm going to show you one of the other two coffee mats. So this one is the same as the other one still in the box. So, because that's all we have left besides putting the chandelier light together. Light, it's a stand-up lamp. I'm in the process of fixing my office and fixing my room. I'm moving some stuff in here, maybe in the closet. My closet's so big. It all depends. And we're going to be redoing my, um, we're going to be like updating, renovating my closet, my office closet at some point, too. Like, you know, simple things that we can handle. This one's coffee bean, which I might use this time around. We'll see. It's just coffee beans, same company that did the other one. It's like an oversized mouse pad, coffee beans. This one doesn't smell as weird, but it does smell a little funky. I got the popcorn here that the parents like to eat and they should get. If you don't got no money, get your broke ass home. I'm putting the two of the pants now. I gotta empty this out carefully. They say the assembly is relatively easy, but I don't know about that. So I'm usually at least good. Oh, it's connected. I think the best way to do this in the bedroom. Fantastic. All right, so this is part of it. I don't know if there's a in here. Yeah, this is part of it. I think I have to like hang the things on it. The chandelier floor lamp was under $100. And I think I had like a $4 off coupon on Amazon. That's the top part. There's all these different pieces. And I was going to be like, what did you do? What did you do? I'm going to get popcorn in my coat. All right, so. Da -da 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 -da. They give you like extra chains. Little pieces. Ooh, I'm not good at doing things like this. I'm getting the anxiety already. Anxiety! Anxiety! I'm pretty sure this goes in here. That's the plug. I have this in here. The way I usually like to do things. Oh, it has a step. Like a, it's, a, it's got a step on and off switch thing. You step on it and it plugs in. So this goes here. You just turn it like so. I'm gonna turn this off.
easily. You know how this is, um... Fuck. I don't want to get it. Alright. It's so crooked. I'm not going to anymore because it's not going to be popcorn. Yeah, I don't care. It's got to get pointers. This is a little... Yeah, I got to get that out. This is going to be all the We're not going to have the, um, the recess lighting uh, in a while, if ever. Yeah, smells like that's going on. Still feels loose. Is that because I am tightened it? Maybe you gotta tighten it on the bottom somehow. Oh. It's really pretty though, isn't it? Just hold on, I gotta keep spinning the tires and take the top part off. Of it. Oh, it's so Wait, I got it down? In the thing, I would have, I'm, I, I would need to pin it, and I'm like, there's no way in hell I'm putting pins through this no, book. I was gonna way. use masking tape or something. I'll find a way. I was gonna put that masking tape on the back. Yeah, but that, I don't even, I wouldn't even do that. No? Yeah, we're gonna need an anchor to put this, this is heavy stuff. Yeah. You ate already. I'll just have to throw some dry food in just so they show up. Yeah. Thanks, Mons. Janelle, we're getting married, and my Aunt Terry, hoping she's there, is like kind of deaf. If we're gonna be outside. My mom is still freaking out. We, when we go there, we have to ask them to walk us exactly to the spot. Yeah, we're not getting married at the time She's freaking out. Yeah. She thinks it's too far. No, it's not. I mean, it's all like you. So I gotta see where it is and count the steps. And she's thinking it's at the Captain's Inn or no, something. No, we're, yeah, we're not getting married at the Captain's Inn. But she was there. Know, at uh, the place outside. You'd think she would see that if the water's right there. Yeah. Unless uh, that's what she means. She can't walk that far. But that's as far as, like, the food store parking lot. Yeah, it's not... I mean... I'm pretty sure that... I'll get Scott to bring his cart. His cart, you know? <laughs> We're definitely going to be at the waterfront. I don't know. You know? I'll freak you off to see. When it... Yeah, there's something on the bottom of that. It's pretty though, very tall. I put it on the floor because I thought it was too, I thought I was going to hit to the ceiling. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Oh, that's that's on the bed.
finally finished assembling the lamp and I'm about to bring it to my office and set it up. My, keep in mind my office is a mess too. <laughs> so yeah, I'm about to do that. But it looks pretty nice. That's the same exact idea as this one that I got from Wayfair. Except they don't have the other things, but it's like, you know, where you put the little things in. And this is from Amazon. It's nice though. I hope I did the balls right, the little hanging things. 